Well, the tourism season in Niagara Falls is off to a bit of a rocky start due to continued concerns over COVID-19. Tourists really represent the city's life's blood, and the lack of them could put some businesses in the falls literally on the brink. One popular attraction is resuming operations in just two days, though. We get that story from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. It was not the 25th anniversary that Pat Proctor of Rainbow Air had in mind. No, not at all, and I'm pretty sure uh, most of the world is saying the same thing. But Rainbow Air has finally been cleared for takeoff on Thursday, three months after it planned to this season to resume thrilling tourists with spectacular rides, as long as they wear masks. It joins other attractions now finally opening, like the Maid of the Mist, which resumed last week, and the Cave of the Winds, which just opened up today. Normally, the first week after school lets out for the summer, this town would be teeming with tourists. There were some at the rails of the World Wonder, but the number was unusually sparse, and there was something else missing. Buses. The, the tour buses are the thing that drive this city. They drive the tourism industry. But at both the state lot on Goat Island and along the spaces where the city has them park on 2nd Street. Not a tour bus from New York City, D.C., Jersey, Florida, California. You will not see the buses, and it's, it's heartbreaking. There is also some heartbreak at local hotels. We'll have that story coming up at 5. In Niagara Falls, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.